hello guys today I'm going to be doing a YouTube video for you guys and it is going to be how to make a easy simple uh, excavator for young children so I just have three sharpies I don't know why I'm gonna set it right there but the colors that you would like to color it colors you're going to need is yellow and blue now if you want to know what coloring supplies I use I use uh, I use Maytel I think that's I don't know exactly what the name is but I use oil pastels and color pencils for the color pencils I like to use Prismacolor color pencils they work really well but one problem with the premiere is that if you drop it on a hard floor somewhere it's most likely gonna break and it will not work very well after that but they work really well and they lay down colors really nicely and I love them so let's get this show on the road um, let me find the blue first Um, I'm gonna, if you do have Prismacolor colors, I am going to be using True Blue and Canary Yellow. Alright, so, how to start this video, we're going to draw the ground. So we're going to start at one side of the page, and we're just going to draw a wavy line-ish. Or you could draw one even higher than the others. All right, now we're going to draw the tracks on our ex excavator. So that bump was kind of misplaced, but all right. So we'll draw the tracks right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a curve line. Then we're going to continue that curve line all the way until right here. And you're also going to make that line going across on the other side. And then you're going to make this curve. It's on the other side. It's just going to curve around and connect. Okay, so now it's a little uneven now. But okay. And now I'm going to make a circle this side of here. Then I'm going to draw another circle right here. And another circle right here. Alright, so that is the beginning of our excavator. Now, we're going to draw the two lines up like that. They're going to be going up from the, uh, from the, tra from the wheels, tracks, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're going to bring it out. At first, we should connect it. And then you're going to extend the line a little bit. Bring it up. And over. And you're going to be making a rectangle right there. Now. Our arm is on this side, and so the cab, we're going to draw the cab to this thing right here. It goes up, and then I'm going to make it fancy, it comes down a little bit, and then comes down. Well, it's not really fancy, but. Alright, so now I'm going to draw a line up, over. And I'm just going to draw a circle right there. That is our steering wheel. Even though I'm not sure if they have steering wheels or not. That is its steering wheel. Alright. Now we're going to draw a person. So what we're going to do. We're going to draw a little um, oval shape. Right there. A head. I can't really fit two dots. Or a mouth, but if you do have room, put a smiley face right in there. Alright, next step. 
next step. All right, so now we're going to come up and we're going to come out like this. Now we are going to bring it up and then over. And then we're going to connect those lines with a circle like that. And then on the end of that, maybe you want to draw some smoke coming out of the machine. Alright, so now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to draw one line up, then another line up here. So it's kind of like a box except it won't be. Now I'm going to curve it like that. And this one will have a bit sharper curve. So that, and then they'll both match up. Now inside right there, we're going to draw another one of those circles like we did down here. Now we're going to draw a line that comes all the way down to almost the bottom of the page, not the bottom of the page, but towards where we made the ground. Now here, right in front of it, we're going to make another ball. So, then we're going to bring it around to that ball, and then now we're drawing the bucket. So it comes up, and then it has a big spike on the front. And then it's got some little spikes. Alright, so there's your bucket. And if you want to, you could draw this a bit more 3D. Adding this. And then you just draw on this side of all of them and then connect it with a line. And yeah. You're going to draw on one side of them and connect it with a line so you could even take your excavator and flip it so that way the buckets on this side and the steams on this side all right so please remember to su subscribe and I think I thank you so much if you did subscribe for it means so much to me and yeah so all right so if you want to see how to color it all I'm I'm running short of time here so you're going to you also need a gray I forgot about that one um, I'm going to be using a metallic because I'm in a rush and I'm just going to draw all of this that metallic gray and but my video is kind of getting long right now so I'm gonna stop right here I'm just going to draw up into here you can draw these balls whatever color you want I'm gonna color them yellow and then here you're going to color yellow And then the rest you're going to color gray. And then if you want to, you can color that whatever color you want. The sky is blue or whatever imaginative color that you would like it to be. And the ground, I would draw the ground a brown ish color. Now I'm going fast. If you would like to see the finished product of this video let me know in the comments below and I'm and I'll show it to you in my next video if anybody would like to see it thanks for watching this video and I hope that it really helped you out and please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button thanks for everything bye